When you're running a DMA business, you're often asked by customers to explain what happened to a particular order. So let's look at an example. Uh, imagine a customer's just rung up and said, um, I attempted to cancel an order um, and I got a reject back. Can you um, investigate and tell me what happened? The easiest way to do that is in the data search in Corval. So let's switch across there now. I'm just going to paste in the order ID they give me. Um, he's also told me it's happened this morning between um, 8 and 8.30. So let's just enter a, uh, a time period in here. Uh, click apply. So Corval's just now searching back in time and uh, it's found a number of entries. So what I'm interested in first of all is the new order single because then we can trace it through. Uh, if I just open this up we can see where it's been seen and here's the name of our client JJR. So I'm going to click on that. That's now going to launch um, Corval's event inspection where we can take a closer look. Um, it's brought up one minute of uh, messages. So we can see here we've got 205 messages um, on five, over five pages. The first one being the new order that, uh, that I selected. Um, okay, so all I need to do is click on order tracking. Uh, so let's do that. And uh, it's gonna sh show us that new order and any related messages. Now, what we can see here, it's just brought up two messages, the new order itself and also the execution report in response to that. Um, so let's just extend the time out a bit, give it another, say 10 minutes, click apply, and okay, so now we see um, a few more messages um, all the way through to the order cancel reject at the end that they have been querying. Okay, so I'm going to um, bring up the details on the right hand side uh, and let's step through. So firstly we have the new order single, um, followed by an execution report. So here we have the exec type zero. So this is just an acceptance of that new order. Uh, next, we have an order cancel replace request. So the original order is being modified. Um, and next, we then have an execution report with an exec type of E. So this is pending. So this is the response to that um, cancel replace request. Um, and then next, we have confirmation that that order has now been replaced. Uh, so we'll be able to see here in the execution report the updated details in terms of the price, quantity, uh, and so on. Um, they it looks like they then go again, replacing that order again. Um, so we then have another pending, another confirmation of that order being replaced. Um, and then we get two further execution reports. So the first one um, has an order status of one. So this is actually a fill. Um, we can see here the quantity of that fill is 3221 out of a total quantity of 5443. Um, so Corval's tracking the, uh, the fill percentage here, so it's currently at 59% and it's left a quantity of uh, 2222. Uh, next message is another execution report, this time again uh, order status of two. So this is now fully filling that order and we can see here the, the quantity uh, filled here is the 2,222. So that's leaving a quantity of zero. Um, Corval's picked that up. Uh, filled percentage now is 100%. We've raised our virtual order complete flag. So this order is essentially completed. Um, we then see them sending in the order cancel request. Um, and then finally we get a reject back. Uh, and as we can see here, the text field in the uh, reject is order already complete. So everything here looks good. Um, there's nothing here that's suspicious. Um, the, the fact is that that client sent in the cancel after the order had been fully filled. So by pulling off this information, sending it to them, it's a, it's a great way to prove to them very quickly what happened. Um, and you can see all I needed to do was to um, log in, enter their search for their client order ID, um, click on order tracking and there we have a full audit trail of exactly what happened.